Hey guys, welcome to vlog number five. Today I have work for gymnastics. So I usually start off my day with some sort of drink, whether it be Starbucks or Jamba Juice, but today's toys was Jamba Juice. Today I got a strawberry wild with two scoops of whey protein to make sure I get my protein intake for the day and I'm off to work. The original plan was to vlog about my students, but my coworkers said it would be a good idea to make sure I got consent from their parents before I start posting videos of them on the internet. So I'm going to explain how I got into gymnastics in the first place. I got into gymnastics because I got into a car accident and at the time I thought that I needed something new to really jumpstart the fact that I got into an accident. The accident was my engine catching on fire due to something wrong with the gas. My friend Johnny Valle actually offered me a job at Aerials Gymnastics and that's where it really did jumpstart who I am today when it comes to coaching in this field. Four years have passed and I now work at Dream Extreme Gymnastics. I believe I'm a fairly good coach after the amount of time I've learned in other gyms and people have told me that I am a fairly good coach. The videos shown are just two days of workouts that my coworkers and I usually do after work to make sure that our bodies are working the way that they're supposed to and my body feels like crap. I do have a background in martial arts though. Martial arts was a big role for me when I actually was stationed in Florida with my parents. So when it came to discipline and understanding what's happening with my body, it kind of helped at the fact that I actually knew martial arts. As you can see from the videos though, today was training double front day. Literally have zero air awareness in the air. So I thought, why not just chuck and hope for the best? And there were some good attempts, some bad attempts, but for the most part, I don't think I'll be getting the double front anytime soon. But to get better, you gotta start practicing at some point. So I went back to progressions, normal front tuck, front pike, front layout, front half, and front full. I always feel like the basics are most highly important to make sure that you instill proper technique and proper form. It's always important to make sure you stretch down after a workout. And with me trying out new stretches, this is a new stretch my coworkers are trying to get me to do. It's a shoulder opener stretch. And my shoulders feel like poop. And to be honest, that's really the end of my vlog. Here's some pancake stretching. But if you like the video, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, my name's Alex and I'm just taking life one vlog at a time.